All right, comparison is the thief of joy. And when I say this, I truly mean it. Um, it gets really, really easy to compare yourself. And I mean really easy, right? So like I could, I could compare, my, compare myself to, I think the one person who's close to my age who I look up to the most in business is like Alex Hormozzi. Me comparing myself to Alex Hormozzi or Josh Snow, or I'm sure there's like a, hun like a thousand other dudes who are 20 to 32 years old who are absolute killers does me no good. The situations aren't the same. It only helps you if you and someone else start at the same time and you have like the same skill set. So like, it's okay to like look at this person like, hey, what are we doing that's different than them? But comparing yourself to someone who's that much farther than you never, ever, ever helps. And it's only gonna steal your joy and then it's not going to help you see how far you've come because you're only comparing against a variable that doesn't even exist in your real life. It's a variable you created. And this is what the gap in the game talks about. Like, bro, you're always comparing yourself to an unrealistic version of yourself. All it is gonna lead to is your own like, mental demise. Like for me, I talked about like it's, it'll le legitimately, if I take it far enough, it'll lead to my own fucking suicide. Because if I'm going to compare myself to someone else who is so unrealistic and you as an entrepreneur, you're a fucking psychopath, if you're like me, and most entrepreneurs I know are that way. So you have these high, high expectations of yourself. You're comparing yourself to this version of you that is a fucking savage, and yes, you're a savage, but this is like ultra Jesus savage strat mode and that person doesn't even exist and then you aren't acknowledging how far you came and this is what Dan Sullivan talks about, you're always in the gap, right? So you're always just in the lack, in the lack, in the lack and for me, reading this book really helped a lot and talking about um, it doesn't put me in a place of abundance and me being in a place of abundance all the time is what helps me, number one, feel good the most, right? Because my entire goal is I want to feel good all the, not all the time, but I want to mentally feel good about what I'm doing. I don't want to be shitting on myself all the time because I'm not doing enough because it, it doesn't attract more, right? And like you, I'm really big Bob Proctor guy, Joe Dispenza guy, and you want to attract the best life for you and the best possible variables. And if you're sitting there and you're downing, and you're a downer and you're doubting yourself and you're on yourself then you're not putting yourself in the right headspace to attract abundance and attract more money. So, don't compare yourself to anybody. Know where you've come from, appreciate that. Always be dissatisfied of where you're at, but at least acknowledge where you came from.